Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona, and this is the weekly reading for the week of September 11th through the 17th, 2022. And we just always remember that we are living both in temporal time and in eternal time. So if you're coming to this video at a later date, there's something here for you. Okay, so I'm going to share in this video uh, the channeled message for this week, a little piece of artwork for this week, and also I will be doing a spirit animal reading on Facebook this week, so I'll leave the link to that in the description below. That will be a reading to support the energies of this week, all right? So let's start with a little overview of what's going on this week. We are just coming out of the full moon in Pisces. So we're still at this moment in in that kind of portal of the full moon. We'll be releasing those full moon energies throughout this week. And so what I'm getting is that there's a lot about subtle energies this week. Um, the very subtle etheric energies that are moving on the planet, that are moving within our bodies. And the message for this week really does have to do with being aware of the subtle energies and working with them. So I'm just going to go ahead and read that message to you. And they also gave an exercise. So if you are looking to work with these energies, they have some suggestions for you. Okay, so here goes. Watch what you are calling in. At every moment, you are calling in something. We live in a responsive universe. You are a magnetic being, and you, like all living things, are a dynamically changing being. Any change to your field will attract the appropriate response from the universe. It, may, it can be subtle. You may not be aware of it. Some of these responses may be so subtle as to be unnoticeable, but rest assured they do take place and their effects add up over time. Your posture, the way you breathe, your dietary choices, all these speak to the universe just as verily as your thoughts. They contribute to your vibration. It is the stillness within you that attracts a steadiness of mind and emotion. When you are constantly turning the dial, you move the target before the universe has a chance to take aim. Then what you attract is chaos, uncertainty, and confusion, because that is what you are putting out. Okay, so then they gave me this exercise. They say, pay attention to the state of your body, your body's little asks for rest, for water, for movement, for physical contact with other beings. Pay attention to your breath, the state of your spine, the small muscles of your face. Is there tension in them or are they relaxed? Does your breath flow from deep in your belly or is it shallow and light? Okay, so a couple of thoughts on this. They're, what they're really saying is that it is the vibration that we hold, right? The, the presence, our own presence that determines what the universe is going to be sending to us. And at any moment in time, we can be holding a higher vibration of presence, right? A higher presence, or we can be embodying a lower vibration, a lower presence, okay? For each person, that's going to be different, right? If you've been working on yourself for a while, maybe 10 years ago, what was the highest vibration that you could hold then might be your lower vibration now. But at any point in time, we're going to have this, you know, ability to either embody our lower vibration or our higher vibration, okay? The way to move between those is going to be activity. So we either have stillness at a lower vibration or stillness at a higher vibration, or we're in this active mode, okay? We need the action, right, to move us from that inertia state, the lower vibration into a higher vibration. But once we reach the higher vibration, we need to hold it there, okay? And so with this exercise, they're saying it's the awareness, we need to really have that awareness in order to train our mind and our body to move, you know, to keep holding that higher vibrational state, okay? So that the motion is necessary, but what they're also saying, it is, you know, the ability to hold a particular state of vibration that, attract, you know, allows us to attract what we're going to attract, okay? And so I feel like what they're saying is it's through the awareness that we're able to choose which vibration that we hold but they're also warning against you know that 
that state of agitation, which of course is necessary. We need that fire, that movement, you know, that, that ability to move and shift and change the dynamic aspect of us. It, it's necessary if we're going to move out of that inertia state, right, that state of lower vibration. But once we start hitting there, what we need to do is train ourselves to get into stillness and a more higher vibration, okay? And if you have a lot of that fire energy, you may find that you kind of settle into that state of activity, right? If your mind is moving a lot, or if you are, you know, constantly planning, right? Um, or even a state of anxiety, it's really important to be aware that that constant action can become this vibration of constant action. We can actually get stuck into that state as well. And that is the state that attracts confusion, chaos, uncertainty. And if you look at the greater world as a whole, we have a society that really places a lot of emphasis on action, on a kind of constant, constant action, right? And look what is kind of happening in the greater society. There is a lot of chaos, uncertainty, and confusion. So the encouragement this week is to be really, really aware of what state, what vibration are you bringing in and to work with that fire energy to calm it down a little bit, okay? So a lot of it is really about awareness and being aware of which static state are you inviting or which static state is present in you, okay? There's going to be a static state of this lower vibration, which would be maybe a hunched posture. It could be a kind of a breath that's like tight. It could be, you know, tension in your face. Um, it's what keeps you there. Or are you inviting in um, a, a more relaxed state of peace, right? Um, keeping your spine straight, allowing your breath to flow deeply, or, you know, just relaxing your face, okay? And so the invitation is, first of all, to be aware of what state are you in, and then if change is needed, to gently correct it, right? Um, but otherwise, there's a tendency to either stay in that kind of lower vibrational state or to be bouncing all over the place, right? And that's what they mean when they're, if, you, if you're bouncing all over the place, um, then that's where you're just attracting this energy of chaos or uncertainty and confusion, which in itself, in the activity kind of brings you down, right? Um, so there's always an order to bring yourself up to this more sattvic, peaceful, harmonious state. Eventually you train yourself to kind of be there, right? But in, in, in the process, you have to actually train yourself by always being aware and then bringing yourself back up. All right, so um, if you would like the, the Spirit Animal reading for this week, join me on Facebook. And we're going to actually go deeper into this idea of working with this, this fire energy, this Rajas energy of change. Um, this Wednesday in my Souls of Fire show, we're going to be uh, delving into that as pertains to financial wealth and if you're in business specifically your revenue okay so if you haven't subscribed yet hit subscribe catch me then on Wednesday and until then remember you were born to be free